Hey guys, I thought I'd show you the, uh, the backyard as we're heading into second weekend of November. Give you a look at the uh, garden boxes up here on the lower deck. Chard seems to be really coming to life in this colder weather. We have uh, only had one frost already so far. It looks like it's, you know, hanging on pretty good. Paul is going to come out here and I think we're going to have a, a saute of some of this stuff this weekend. And then here's the broccoli. We've had a couple of sautés on some of the leaves. You know, it's gotten so cold. We haven't seen any uh, actual broccoli heads form in our yard. And here's the cabbage. There's the cabbage. There's one there. And we got the broccoli. Here's some, uh, some Vates kale that was in here. Looks like it's rebounding back. Got a little pop-up uh, beet there. There's some more cabbage. So we're gonna saute off some of these leaves, you know, this week. You rip out this veining here. And then you just use this nice pieces over on the sides of the veining. It really gives you a nice saute of uh, almost like collard, collard greens. Sorry about the dog there, down below, somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea. But here's the uh, the kale that used to be on the bench that was up here. And uh, I took the bench in because I don't want to leave it out all winter because it'll just rot because it's got a wood top on it. But uh, I just sat those down and they do get a little bit of morning sun, a tiny bit, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with those because once the gardens die down out there, which is, you know, one thing if I wanted to encourage somebody to put in their yard, if they want to have color in the fall, then you want to put in some nasturtium because it takes off when you get the uh, cooler fall weather. As you can see, it's replacing a lot of the dying uh, sunflowers and the marigolds that are starting to die off with uh, blooms from the nasturtium. And as a benefit, if you want to eat them, they are inedible. So you can actually eat the leaves as well as the blossoms. And the blossoms have a really, really strong peppery taste. The leaves have a peppery taste, but the, uh, the blossoms, that's what really sets it off. And if you have a salad, and you, uh, you want to have some really nice color on your salad, you put a couple of those blooms on there, and people look at it like, oh, why do you have flowers on here? And it's like, no, no, you want to eat those because that's going to give you peppery flavor. So you don't have to put as much, uh, you know, pepper on the salad. And, then, you know, it's kind of an impressive thing for people because they're like, oh, wow, I never knew you could eat these. <laughs> so that's like, yeah, I just go out in my yard and, you know, I'll just, I'll just forage for anything I want to eat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, everything's kind of dying back. I got our dill. We're still getting a little bit of dill off of that down there, but uh, eventually that's all going to just go end up in the compost heap. And then we've got our new our new bushes here I talked about before, and uh, we're going to plant those somewhere in the yard as everything dies back and we get a good chance to, to look around the yard and see what's uh, available for space. And uh, that's kind of it. I mean, the tomatoes, they're just terrible at this point, so we're just letting them drop and the, the birds seem to be going and picking them up and uh, digging out the seeds when they rot, so it's good for them gives them some nutrients and uh, it's going to give us uh, you know a lot of a lot of biomass to just drop down in these garden boxes I mean you can just see the sheer amount of stuff that I'm just going to basically just chop and drop right into those boxes to let rot over the winter and uh, next year there'll be different things planted in there so they won't be tomatoes because we're going to do something different next year besides that we're probably going to do more peppers and eggplants and then of course we've got the back box out there with the broccoli it never really uh, got any heads, as I mentioned in the uh, the box up above, and the uh, the garden boxes on our deck. So uh, might as well just let you guys. Well, the birds are just really kind of zooming around in here. But uh, here's some of the close shots of the nasturtium, and then we've got our. You know, looks like there's some slug damage on a lot of those leaves. But uh, I kind of got to expect that now. We're into the rainy season. And I'm not going to waste putting sluggo out there, so whatever goes, goes. Whatever comes back for spring will be here for us to harvest. But we're still getting, you know, there's still quite a few tomatoes you could actually take and eat if you wanted them. But the, the flavor in them just isn't any good anymore. They've got that kind of a store-bought taste. They don't have that nice, really high sugar content that they have when they have the sun really, give, you know, giving them that nice uh, growth. So they're not really any good anymore. Uh, here's that grafted apple I did last year. So the graft part, 
you know, this is a sucker, but this is the graft I did on this side here. So this is a Liberty apple. This one here I'm probably going to cut off and I'll graft on another piece. And then this is the, uh, the rootstock. I don't know if that's... I mean, it's pretty low in there, so I'll probably just cut that one off. I'll just cut it off and I'll just keep this one. Now that this one is taken, I'm just going to let this grow and become the main leader. I might not graft anything this year, except for the pear. I've got to graft some pear trees. But, uh, yeah, you can see the tomatoes, they're just... They're crazy. This box is pretty much all gone. And it's going to become a, you know, a plant propagation bed next year. So that'll be something different for you guys to watch on the channel. You can see the cucumbers over here. They're, they're completely gone. The punakiras. I'm sad to see those go. But they're all completely gone. And then we've got some beans over here that still seem to be hanging on. I'm surprised. These, uh, these Monte Cristos, boy, they... They keep going, and I'm still getting beans. I mean, look at this. We're still getting beans on this thing. I mean, it's starting to die back up here, you can tell, because we did have a frost. But uh, looks like i got to come out here and pick off the remainder of these uh, little beans that are still coming on. There's a couple over here, another one there. Cucumbers are all pretty much gone there. They're all yellowing, and they don't taste any good anymore, like that one there. We finished off our last cucumbers from out here uh, last weekend. Cleaned up the sunflowers that are up there. I chopped and dropped, put them down here, and put them over there by the apple tree. Just as some additional biomass back there. That's kind of it. The, uh, the yard's turned into a uh, compost chop and drop area pretty much everywhere. <laughs> this, this might be getting kind of boring for you guys to look around at, but uh, next spring it'll come back alive. And then, you know, we're presumably going to have our 10 year. Uh, winter storm so that'll be some nice shots I can put up for you guys in the snow with our dogs running around in it and maybe I'll be out here sliding down the hill <laughs> all right I'll talk to you guys again bye